<laughs> Day 23. I, I can't believe it. This better be something good. Let's get going. Okay, day 23. Herbal infusion is what I see on the back. Val Valerian Nights. Calming caramel and coconut. All right, let's get this brewing. Five plus minutes caffeine free. And we'll chat about what is in it. All right, we'll set you right there. Let's read off what we have. Can anyone guess what the first ingredient is? I'll give you a hint. It's been the first ingredient in many things <laughs> this time. Apple, 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 apple. First ingredient is apple. Coconut, ruibus, chamomile, caramel pieces, sweet blackberry leaves, valerian root, natural flavoring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> valerian root. Let's actually chat about what valerian root is. <sighs> valerian root. Valerial is a perennial flowering plant native to Europe and Asia. In the summer, when the mature plant may have a height of 1.5 meters, it bears sweetly scented pink or white flowers that may attract many fly species, especially hoverflies. Okay, is valerian root good for anxiety? If you've experienced anxiety, and of course this is the internet, so take it with what you will. If you've experienced anxiety or have trouble sleeping, you've probably thought about trying an herbal remedy for relief. Valerian root is a common ingredient sold in dietary supplements. Also used orally for anxiety and psychological stress, but there is limited scientific research to support these uses. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, that is brewing up. I don't know how much we want to drink of this, but we will definitely try it. I think I got some valerian root or valerian nights, but I didn't try it. That's so weird. But I feel like I bought this and just didn't try it because I was kind of a little bit nervous about the whole thing, but um, I don't know. So today I thought we'd have a little bit of a chat about different winter sports and what everybody does or how you enjoy the winter, or maybe winter isn't the same where you're at. For me, winter is usually snowy and cold and windy and <laughs> it's just brutal. So uh, we can get quite cold here. I am in Nova Scotia, Canada. And uh, yeah, so I remember growing up most of the time it was a white Christmas. It was extremely rare when I was a kid to have like a green Christmas or anything like that. It's a little bit more common now, uh, but our winters are still pretty cold and pretty wintry. <laughs> so yeah. So as a kid, I used to love sledding. Um, of course, anything that my brothers did, I wanted to do. So they would use a crazy carpet I would use a crazy carpet and anybody that doesn't know a crazy carpet is just basically like a sheet of flexible plastic with like two holes cut out that you would like sit on and basically like <laughs> it does what it sounds like a crazy carpet sledding you down the hill at like crazy speeds and um, yeah you'd end up tumbling off and hopefully you were okay yeah <laughs> It was always great fun with my brothers. I also remember, um, I remember when I was younger, like say 10 to 12, we had a pond and we used to always uh, clear off the pond and skate on the pond. And my older, two older brothers, Rick and Rob, taught me how to skate. So I always ended up having the picks shaved off of my um, girl skates so that I could skate like a boy and I didn't know that there was any difference or anything like that but I always remember being like you know 
at one point towards the end I was getting actually really good and I could like skate backwards and I just felt like I lived on the skates and you know at that time I was probably 12 at that time and we had neighborhood friends that would come over and there was me and another guy that used to just like spend all of our time on the on the pond in our backyard skating and uh, yeah that was Gordy. It was so much fun. I really like it, it was such, it was just a great time and yeah, I really enjoyed those winters. A winter where you actually enjoy the outdoors and you're not hating it. And I think a huge part of it is making sure that you have like, you know, the proper attire. So being warm and stuff because, you know, if you're freezing and cold and miserable, you don't want to do anything. This is very coconut coconutty smelling. I see big chunks of apple. There's lots of things floating in it. <laughs> it's a, a very yellow color. Very coconutty smelling. How do they describe it again? Calming caramel and coconut. I smell the sweet, but I really smell like the caramel or the coconut. As a teenager, I then moved into skiing. I used to have a season's pass at the ski hill and basically like lived there. I <laughs> Every year I challenged myself to try something different. So one year it was learning how to ski without poles. So that was my thing. Another year I wanted to learn how to ski backwards. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was a teenager. <laughs> it is nice because there's the, um, so it's the apples giving it the sweetness and the coconut, the rubus. Chamomile. So usually I'm not a big chamomile person. I don't really overly taste it. The caramel pieces are giving it sweetness to the valerian root. I mean, I don't know what valerian root tastes like. It's more of just like a nice warm, I could drink this. It's not overly coconut. Like it smells much more coconut than what it actually is. And yeah, it's decent. It's nothing that I would actually go out and buy. I, I'm not a huge coconut person, but if you do like coconut, I could see you liking this. I would give this a five. I hope you are following along and remember you have a chance to win the Kindness Brews box. And if you don't know what that is, check out the description box below. You just need to subscribe and comment and you're entered to win. And it is a giant box full of amazing tea to explore. All right, I'll see you in the comments. Until next time, take care. Bye.